Mike and Eva Tucker here. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all enjoying your summer and having some great adventures out there. Exactly, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Matter of fact, I hope it's the best day ever. So yesterday, honey, we talked about three weapons to protect your bulldog from the summer heat. Guys, you can go back and review that video. I'm just here to save lives, okay? You can you, find this. Yeah, if you missed it, you got to go back and, and, and see that. Absolutely. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at I Am Bulldog Nation. That's helpful information. Feel free to share that with a friend. Honey, I want to ask a question. Okay. What is the number one reason that people would not buy an English Bulldog or a French Bulldog? Number one reason is just too much hassle, uh, health issues. Health issues, okay. And health issues <laughs> convert into a pain in the Bedinsky and almost worse than that or equally as bad, costs a lot of money. Oh, yes. <laughs> what if there were breeders that went against the grain of the reason why people don't buy English and French Bulldogs and said, hey, I want to solve this problem. I want to produce healthier English Bulldogs and healthier French Bulldogs. Do you think that would solve at least one of the world's problems? Most definitely. That would be amazing. I'd be the first in line. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so when people inquire, honey, about our French and English Bulldog babies, the first question that they ask is, how much do they cost? That's a good question, but I've got a better question than that. How much is this item, this French Bulldog puppy, this English Bulldog puppy, going to cost me over the span of the next 10 years? Okay, now maybe I'm weird, guys, but I just look at things different. When we look at cars, she looks at the pretty red one. When we look at houses, she looks at the beautiful paint job. Me, I'm going, what's this car going to cost me? How much am I going to have to pay in maintenance the next two years, five years, ten years? And oh, by the way, I'm thinking the same thing about a house. Now, I want this girl to be happy, blessed, and living the life of a queen because that's what she is. But I'm in the back of my mind thinking, how much is this going to cost? <laughs> Let's go to the board and see what a French Bulldog or an English Bulldog is going to cost, not just up front. That is a consideration, but you're going to have this puppy for a long time. Let's consider what it's going to cost over the lifespan of that baby because that's more important than just the one-time purchase up front because you can buy a cheap car, you can buy a cheap house, but... Over the next five to ten years, is it going to be cheap? That's my question. Let's go to the board. Okay, guys. So just a quick and easy graph here that I drew up. And this is just vet bills, okay? So just consider the numbers with vet bills. We have dollars on this graph represented vertically. We've got time represented horizontally. So hypothetically, this bulldog puppy is going to live 12 years, okay? So let's just say... We buy a puppy at $2,000. A couple of years go by. We have vet bills due to unscrupulous breeders and hereditary issues. We spent two grand. More time goes by at the four-year mark. A major surgery, you know. Uh, vet bills are continuing to accumulate. At the four-year mark, we're in $10,000. More time goes by. Major surgeries. We've got cherry eye, we've got entropia, we have hip issues, we have demodectic mange. Over the life of the dog, guys, you can spend tons of money at the vet on this cheap dog that we paid $2,000 for up front. Now, let's consider a dog that is well-bred. We have a breeder that is putting huge emphasis on health, you save money at the vet. You just have basic maintenance. The same 12 years, guys, let's say you spent $6,000 for this puppy and you've got vet bills, right? You've got your routine maintenance, you have your shots, you have your flea and tick prevention, these things, but over 
a 12 year span, you only spent a grand total of $10,000 at the vet. 10,000 plus the initial $6,000, that puppy cost you $16,000 overall. Let's look at the one that we spent $2,000 on. We ended up spending $26,000 at the vet. There's your cheap dog, grand total of $28,000 over the life of the dog. So what I'm trying to share with you when you're shopping for a French Bulldog or an English Bulldog baby, don't just ask the question, what is the initial price? Consider what the price of that baby is going to be over the lifespan. If you're interested in a French or an English Bulldog, check out my website, imbulldog.com. I'm here for you for the life of your baby, guys. That's one more thing that we bring to the table if you get a puppy from us. Our guarantee, lifetime support of that baby. You call me, you text me, you email me, and oh, by the way, you don't have to go to the vet every time you have an issue with a puppy that you buy from me. I have a toolbox of home remedies to save you even more money. Call me. I'm here for you. I love you. Guys, thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure that you subscribe. And if you've got a friend that's got a bulldog or is interested in getting a bulldog, be sure you share this video with them because I'd love to have them aboard too. Y'all, thank you for your time once again. Have a great day.